Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Crystal Reports is a database reporting application used by many different types of businesses and industries to generate accurate and powerful reports that assist in business decision making. If you need the flexibility to generate reports from many different types of database files in your organization, then Crystal Reports is definitely for you. While there are many fine database report writing software applications available, you will find that Crystal Reports is very useful in allowing you to use the same report writing tool to access and analyze various types of data sources as diverse as Microsoft Exchange, Microsoft Access, Corel Paradox, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL Server, among many others. However, before we begin to examine the process of creating reports using the Crystal Reports application, we should familiarize ourselves with its operating environment. Crystal Reports makes use of a standard operating environment that contains many familiar features, such as a menu bar and many types of toolbars. In this first lesson, we will begin by examining the various objects that we must use during the report creation process and also learn what these objects are named and where they are located within the application screen. After you've installed Crystal Reports on your computer, you can run the application in a few common ways. If available, you can easily double-click the Crystal Reports desktop icon to launch the application, or you could also reliably run the application by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner of your desktop, rolling your mouse pointer up to the Programs or All Programs command, and then clicking the Crystal Reports 10 or Crystal Reports 11 command. If using Crystal Reports 10, when you open the application, you will be presented with the Welcome to Crystal Reports dialog box. Here you can select one of two options to create a report, using the Report Wizard or as a blank report. You can also select the option to open an existing report. In that case, you can select the name of one of the most recently opened reports that appear in the small list below the option. You could also select the More Files choice in this list and then click OK to invoke the Open dialog box. Notice that if you do not want this dialog box to appear when the application is started, then you can uncheck the Show Welcome dialog at Startup checkbox. When you've set all your desired options, you may click OK to continue. If you do not wish to use the dialog box at all, you may simply click the Cancel button to dismiss the dialog box and continue to create a new blank report by hand in the Crystal Reports design environment. If using Crystal Reports 11, after opening the program, you will instead see the Start page versus the older Welcome to Crystal Reports dialog box. However, the options in both are almost identical. In the Getting Started section at the top of the page, under the New Reports section, you will find options for creating either a new blank report or using one of the report wizards to assist you in creating a report. You can click on any of the hyperlink options to select that method of creating a new report. In the Recent Reports section, you will see a hyperlink listing of the most recently opened reports. You can click on the name of a report in this list to quickly open it. You may also click on the Open File hyperlink to invoke the open dialog box, which you can then use to navigate to and open a previously created report. There are now various other options available in the Start page. Under the Resources section, there are hyperlinks for a searchable help index, sample reports, online updates, and the option to show or hide additional online resources, which appear at the bottom of the page. If you wish to close the Start page, you can click the small X on the Start Page tab at the very top of the page. To view it again once you've closed it, you can select Help from the menu bar and choose Show Start Page. In addition, Crystal Reports also features the new Workbench panel, which appears at the right side of the application window. This panel allows you to compile a list of reports and objects which are grouped as projects for easy access. The application window is the window that is shown when there are no open reports currently displayed in the program. 
Notice that most of our menu commands are not accessible, and that the majority of the buttons displayed in the toolbars will appear grayed out or unavailable for selection. In order to see how the environment changes when a report is opened, you will need to create a report. Note that each report that you create will be displayed in its own report window inside of the application window. If using Crystal Reports 10, to create a new report, you can either click the New button in the standard toolbar, or select File and then choose the New command from the menu bar. This will launch the Crystal Reports Gallery dialog box. Here we can choose how we would like to create our new report. You can select the As a Blank Report option button, and then click the OK button at the bottom of the dialog box to start the creation of a new blank report. If you're using Crystal Reports 11, you can either click the New button in the standard toolbar, or you can select File, choose the New command, and then choose Blank Report from the side menu, which appears to create a new blank report as well. Next, you're going to see a new blank report appear in its own report window inside of the application window. You'll also see the Database Expert dialog box appear. And we use this dialog box to connect to our data source for the report, and we will discuss it in much detail later. For now, you can just simply click the Cancel button in this dialog box to close it and view the basic report window behind it. Notice that we now have a full menu bar of choices at the top of the application window, and that many of the buttons available are now displayed in color, indicating that they can be selected. In the main report window, you should now see a tab at the left side of the screen that says Design. This informs us that what we are seeing on screen currently is a report that is being shown in the Design view. This is the view in which you will spend the majority of your time when creating reports. Now we will examine what tools are available to use within this view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.